Hello everyone, this is Ace Stocky here, and welcome to a brand new flat test world. Ooh, horses. Lots of different kinds of horses. So what I'm here to do today is create a quick tutorial for you on how to make some cool stuff. Um, sorry about that, I'm just going to have to turn cheat mode on, because it's going to make things much easier. Basically what I'm going to do today is do a bit of a demonstration on how to make a Thorncraft duplicator. So I'm going to do a couple of different ones and then I'm going to need some redstone I'm going to need a timer probably only need one of those and then I'll grab a couple of different kinds of collectors a couple of those Grab a couple of those because basically what I intend to do is just to show you there's a number of different ways you can make this particular thing. I um, don't think I want to go with creative so what I might do is just give myself some actually we can even go better than diamond we can go for a mace. No it's a morning star isn't it? So basically what I'm looking at doing right now is demonstrating the most basic version that, that well that I make because they're all very similar and they all have the same principle. Basically what you do is you start off with a condenser. Next to the condenser, sorry, you, you start with a collector. And next to the collector you put a condenser and in the condenser you start to duplicate marble. And you can see the way this works is about every second it produces around about three. And that works perfectly if you have just a single filter operating off it. So you can see you want to have the small side out. So what that will do now is every time this... Oh, shouldn't have clicked on it like that. Wrong button. So we want to get some more pieces of marble. Basically what you do is you come into your filter and you set it up for three. Now every time this gets a redstone signal it will pull three out of here and because it is pulling three out at the same time as this is creating three you have a balanced system. Now if you plan to leave this for a while with it turned off as I'm going to explain a little bit later on then you might have this thing fill up. So what I have in my system is I have a level one condenser that's producing three and then I actually have two of these set up to extract from it. So I'll get to that demonstration in a second. First of all, I will just do the, the basic setup. So basically what you want to do is you want to run some pneumatic tubing up and then you want to have it come down directly into a crucible. And then for the sake of things not being too complicated, I'm going to put my duplicator Uh, in the middle somewhere and I just dropped my mouse which is most unfortunate so you, you we basically wire this together now anything that gets smelted in there will end up in here now the way these particular items these crucibles work is that they could smelt approximately three blocks per second sometimes it's slightly faster than that but three is basically how fast it works so if we set ourselves up like this and we run a redstone signal down you can see now every second it's going to grab three out that's what we told it to and they will be landing in there and they will be smelting as fast as they go in so now in here we can throw whatever it is we would like to duplicate which in this case I'm just going to use diamonds as an example and so now it's basically constantly smelting and it will never fill up. So if we get a detector you can see that there is no viz detected and there will never ever be any viz because this is draining it more quickly than it can use it. And this is where the second one comes in very handy. Because if we throw a second one on 
and like I said we need a second crucible. In this particular case I'm going to use a crucible of the eyes just because I have a couple of those handy and I will also use this crucible of the eyes to demonstrate what you can do that makes it just a little bit better than a standard crucible because basically if you're not duplicating gone one too far now it's very important with these particular pneumatic tubes if they are connected to something that has an inventory they will automatically stop the filter from grabbing anything out if that inventory is full you unfortunately get no such luck in the event that it's not connected to anything because obviously the inventory is not filling so what will happen now is this will smelt again as fast as it possibly can and there will be no vis detected what you will occasionally notice though is that some vis will build up because 2 is just slightly faster because we're producing 6 vis per second that's I think just slightly faster than this can actually accept vis so over a period you might notice that that's filling up what will probably happen first though is that this will actually start to empty itself out so you can see that at the moment it's it's really slowly going down about 3 vis per second so it'll last a long time but not forever and that's where if I was to say place um, a different collector whoops let's say I was to place a mark 2 collector this is where you can now see that it's producing much faster than it can actually use or at least it should be Yeah, looking at the way I'm looking at things it looks like it's still slowly draining out faster than it can use it so that's that's still not too bad and if you go for the the type 3 it should be duplicating faster than it can send it out. Ah, okay, I know what my problem is now. My problem is that this particular one here isn't pulling out groups of three at a time. It's pulling out full stacks, which is also the reason why that there is absolutely chockers at the moment. So that was that was my bad, that was my problem with the demonstration. What should have been happening is if I put three in there, is it should have been pulling three at a time and now this thing should be building up incredibly fast here yeah, there we go we can see that it's building up much much quicker and also with a level 2 you'll notice that it is still building up quicker than it's going out so that's that's really what I was hoping to get out with this demonstration so what I'm going to do now is just stop the filters from going for a moment because that, that's that is your basic setup now if we were to replace that with a crucible of the eyes what this allows you to do is take a redstone signal run that down I might need a repeater in this case because I think I'm going to end up going over 15 blocks yeah probably gone over 15 blocks there so just to be on the safe side I'll add a filter uh, a repeater and now basically the way this is set up is a basic crucible like the kind I had here previously without that red without that gold and a little bit of red on top of it when it fills up it will just overflow and the problem with it overflowing is it will tip stuff out and it's corrosive so it'll it'll basically break the ground it'll do lots of really unpleasant things and we don't want that to happen so you can see just by how long this thing here is smelting for that I had really chocked that full and that's not just hmm, bit of a glitch there slow this down and see if that fixes the glitch at all oops that wasn't slow that was faster nope still didn't fix it never mind so I'm going to just break that that will solve that issue and help get rid of some of the lag now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off 
because I'm going to demonstrate that once these fill up, you'll get that redstone signal. So we... Because I have that, it's not designed for me to chuck things in. I like I have lots of redstone. So let's say I stop duplicating and we'll start this system back up here and then we'll crank it back up to one second like it's supposed to be and you'll see this time it's pulling stacks of three instead of full stacks and we look there it's 88% full building up quite rapidly then it hits 90% full then it turns on its signal which turns off the timer and what that will allow it to do is stop before it reaches 100% full and starts to overflow. Now if I had run this particular block correctly, which unfortunately I hadn't, I need to run it like that because the signal needs to be driven off it, not across it. This particular one would do the same thing. So if we break that block there, Not sure what's going on here. That should not be... Ah, okay. The crucible is powering the block, and the block is powering, so it's still working that way. So you can see that, yeah, crucible powering the block, block powering the redstone signal. So pretty much the same thing. If we were to come over here to this one, you can tell that it would do virtually the same thing. And having those two set up like that will basically give you an unlimited viz production capability that will go as fast as you can want it to go. So if you were to use a faster collector or you were to add a third filter that was to come off the side because this is producing much quicker, you can basically continue to increase the rate of production to the point where eventually three crucibles will pr be producing more viz than one duplicator can use. Now this, obviously you could compact this up a little bit more and make things a bit neater and a bit tighter and then you could potentially repeat this multiple times so you could have uh, two repeats of this, so have have basically an exact replica of this just here with a second duplicate and have them both duplicating diamonds. You can basically configure it however you want and it will it'll, it will produce diamonds faster than you can get with basically anything except for once you start to get up to the higher tiers of equivalent exchange flowers. But certainly starting off, this takes much, much less resources because you're really looking starting off with just one single level one collector and yeah one collector and one condenser and a few different filters so that's much 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 lower than you'd need to say have a a five collector flower that was all feeding into one chest so i hope that's been helpful for those of you who wanted although i have a feeling that it's not going to be all that helpful for that much longer because thorncraft 2 came out today and it is going to be an absolute game changer to the way we use thorncraft this particular setup you see here is going to be a thing of the past. It is just not going to be something that you're going to be able to do in the future. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was informative. Hey, stock you out.